New tonight, family, friends, and protesters remembered Rayshard Brooks one year after his death at the site where he took his last breath. Good evening to you. Thanks for joining us on this Saturday. I'm Deidre Dukes. Now, Fox 5's Eric Perry was there and talked with activists and family members who say they will not stop fighting. Many of those who came out say they were also here in the days after Rayshard Brooks' death. They tell me they'll continue to fight until they believe justice has been served. No justice! A crowd gathered Saturday afternoon to remember Rayshard Brooks one year after his death. Justice for Rayshard Brooks! Many tossed roses over the fence where the Wendy's used to stand and release balloons. Say his name! Rayshard Brooks! Richard Book's cousin David McDaniel addressed the crowd on behalf of the family, also standing beside a cousin and a young family member. It's still unreal. But one thing I can say is the city of Atlanta showed me that we can come stand for something. The people who know him couldn't help but love him. Someone so goofy, bright, and strong. He was nice. He didn't deserve to get killed. Those gathered say the fight must continue. A hashtag is not support. A hashtag is not a call to action. It means nothing. Coming out here means everything. No justice. No peace. The mother of Zadok Williams, a man killed by DeKalb County Police, came to support. I never thought my son would be a hashtag. Never. It's going to be changed all day, every day, and it starts with us. It's there was also a powerful plea from a recent high school graduate. Through her tears, you hear her heart. And y'all, when I say I'm tired of going through this, I'm tired. I should be scared for my friends that go out at night driving. I should be scared for them. There truly was just so many speakers that addressed the crowd. I'm told that there are several other events planned in the weekends to come. Eric Perry, Fox 5 News.